blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we are going to learn how to configure manual or on mode either channel configuration okay in the previous videos we learned how to do PHP either channel which is port aggregation protocol and LACP which is link aggregation control protocol either channel configuration right and today we're going to do the last method which is the on mode or the manual mode you know the last two methods were been a dynamic uh, uh, either channel protocols right so this is the manual mode in either channel configuration so i'll let you know on the google spreadsheet that we're in class eight right all right so uh before we can uh, go to the configuration part it's very very important that we understand what manual or on mode either channel configuration means okay so i'll open this ppt and you see manual either channel configuration using on mode so when we're using on mode you know uh the either channel will be created only when the interface group is in either channel on mode okay the interface will be part of either channel in this mode without any negotiation protocol which is the negotiation protocols are lsp and p hgp right all right so we see that uh they are namely we can put it on in in on mode or off when you put it on off mode meaning either channel uh will will not be formed but when it is on mode uh the either channel will be formed only if the other side is also on the on mode okay so for example on the topology here for either channel to be formed here this side should be on this side should be on right so what you have to understand is that for on mode it's manual uh, either channel configuration okay there's no negotiation right okay so without any further ado let's go back to our packet tracer and start the configuration i have already designed uh, uh, the notepad here the notepad file through which i'm going to uh, follow to achieve uh, either channel configuration okay all right so i just open it and we get to the process so the the first process tells us that we should draw the next topology decorate and comment so you can see here although i've not done the decoration let me do it very very fast to solve the time okay so i've done the decoration plus the comments you can see uh the background colors and uh the on mode plus channel group number on mode channel group number on mode channel group number okay all right so the second step tells us that to identify the trunk links uh configure channel group number and on mode right all right so we need to identify a trunk link okay links i mean so any links connecting switch to switch should be trunk in other channel configuration right so i'm going to start to other channel configuration on uh let's say group one okay channel group one so, so we start with s, s switch, switch one i mean so switch one will be in group one and group two okay all right switch three here group one switch uh and group three switch two group two and switch and group three right all right so let's start configuring uh s s1 we go to enable uh, config t okay then let's start with group one right so this is a uh, fa4 the other one is a uh, fa6 and fa5 so interface interface range fa0 slash 4 to 5 we say channel group number we give it channel group number plus own mode okay home mode okay so just say channel group one mode to be on okay and you hit enter we exit okay then step three it tells us that uh enter the port the port number created the port channel number created and configure it as trunk you can see it has created interface port channel one so we just say interface port channel one then you say switch port mode to be trunk okay all right so we go to group two which should be formed between this switch and this switch so this interface is uh fa1 fa2 and fa3 
So I go here and say interface range FA0-1 to 3. And we just say channel group, channel, channel group uh, 2, I believe, mode to be on. Channel group 2 here, mode to be on, all right? And it enter. We exit. And we enter this interface, interface port channel 2. So you just say interface port uh, channel 2, uh, sweet so port mode to be trunk. Okay, all right, so we're done configuring either channel there. So we just say do right, and you can just say do show either channel. And now you can see uh, we had group one and uh, the maximum, there we had three ports uh, FA4 to 6. And then the, in the protocol, you can see it's blank, meaning uh, that's the manual or on mode uh, either channel configuration, right? All right, so uh, we are done with this switch. So let's go to this switch and configure group channel group one, channel group three, and mode on on, right? Okay, so um, let's go to this one, S3, then uh, enable config T and interface range. So we first identify the interfaces. We, are, we need to identify trunk interfaces. So uh, Sorry, should be on, on. Okay. All right. So we need to identify trunk interfaces connecting switch 3 and switch 1. So this is uh, FO3, FO2, and FO1. So from FO1 to FO2, for FO3, I mean FO1 uh, to 3, uh, we just say channel group, channel group 1, mod to be, mod to be, on okay so you see they will try to turn red okay okay all right so uh exit then we say interface port channel port channel one this interface right Port channel one uh, sorry interface port channel one i have a switch port mode switch port mode to be trunk okay all right now, now we configure either channel between switch 3 and switch 2. Okay, let's go here and this is FO, FO, FO5. Sorry, that should be FO4 to FO6. Yes, I believe so. So, interface range uh, FO4 to 6. Then, channel group number, channel group number, channel group number 3. Okay see there see that channel group number three here okay all right channel group number three mod on okay exit then we enter interface interface port channel port channel three okay switch port mode mode to be trunk okay exit and do right so finally let's go to switch switch uh, 2 and configure either channel between switch 2 and switch 1 and switch 2 and switch 3 so i'll start with channel group number 2 which is uh, the interface are gig 1 to 3 okay so i'll just say enable uh config t so interface range fa0 1 to 3 i uh, will just say channel group channel group channel group uh, 2 yes channel group 2 here mod to be on mod to be on on okay then we exit just say interface interface uh, interface port port channel 2 i uh, switch port mode switch port mode to be trunk okay exit then we configure either channel between switch 2 and switch 3. So uh, it's from F04 to F6, I believe so. Yes. So it's from interface range 4 to 6, 4 to 6. Then just channel group number 3. Channel group number 3 between channel group number 3 between this switch and this switch. Okay. It enter mode on exit. Then interface port port uh, channel 
group export channel 3 uh, switch put mode mode to be trunk okay exit and do right guys i trust either channel will be formed between this switch and this switch and this switch and this switch and also this switch and this switch but because you know this forms a natural loop as you can see just a something like a circle or it's a triangle okay so it forms a natural loop one of the parts will be blocked for example this one you can see all of this has been blocked because it's a natural loop okay but you can see all of these interfaces are in forwarding state are in forwarding state this one this one forwarding state meaning we've formed either channel successfully between the switches so if you can just display here for example do show either channel see we had group two and group three we had maximum number of ports to be three protocol to be null which is manual uh on mode right okay so basically uh, so basically i think my video has really helped you know how to configure layer two either channel using on mode and i'll mark this as done so uh l2 the channel on mode done so tomorrow we carry on with secure and use switch ports right all right so thank you so much guys for visiting me today please subscribe to my channel like my video share with friends and drop a comment of uh, appreciation below so thank you so much and let's see you again in the next class bye